We released a video about customizing SharePoint forms with Power Apps, and we actually received a question, is there a way to show different forms based on rights or another view for an admin and another view for an end user? We're gonna be showing you how you can do that today. You might notice this format is different from videos we've done in the past. That's because this is a clip from our monthly office hours where we help people with any sort of questions they might have that they've submitted either through YouTube comments or on our website. We have a link in description if you'd like to check out more. Uh, so the answer that I, that we posted um, in response on the, on the YouTube comment was, yes, you can absolutely do that. Um, there are a number of methods to do that. Um, if you are looking to get um, figure out whether or not the user has a specific permissions or membership to a SharePoint group, you can actually make a call out to the uh, SharePoint REST API to get that. Um, and typically, uh, you might use something like a Power Automate flow uh, to make that request uh, and then get the result back in your form, um, just to, as a simple way to demonstrate that. Um, in this particular uh, example, I've added another data source called Office 365 Users. Um, and I've added this so that I can get some additional context about the user that's actually logged in. And so an example of, how, of one way that you might route the user to the correct form or keep them on a specific form um, using this data um, would be uh, in our app OnStart, for example. So if we jump over to our OnStart, you'll see here that I've already set basically a user context variable where I'm going and getting uh, the user's display name and the department. And you'll see at the bottom of the form here, I have that displayed. It's got my name and my department displayed. Um, but you could very simply come in here and say, uh, I want to take the user to a specific location or a specific form or screen based on you know, what that department is as an example. So instead of going out and getting the permissions or the security group from SharePoint, we'll do it based on the department. So to do that, we could simply say, if Office 365 users, use my profile v2, uh, the department is equal to operations. Then we're going to navigate to take them to the content screen. Else we're going to navigate to our first screen. Now, the, this is obviously just like navigating them there. If you wanted to like keep them there, you could implement some logic. Uh, for example, in form screen one, um, where on visible, you figure out what the user's department is and if they're not supposed to be on that particular screen, you could navigate them to the screen they're supposed to be on um, you know, as a way to keep them out of places they shouldn't be in. So that's just a, a simple example. Uh, so if I come in here, in this particular case, I'm on form screen one. Uh, if I run my on start, this is actually going to figure out, oh, I'm in the operations department and it routed me right to um, that particular screen. Actually, I think to be safe, I'm going to add this logic to my other places. So in my on edit, I'm going to do those things and then do that. So the documents are. And in my, uh, no, it's, there's, if you go to site contents, there's a content scheduler list. Got it. And then in the on view, I think is the other one that's the culprit. Yeah, this one's navigating to form screen one. So now we're just going to basically force it based on my department to take me where I want it to go. So we'll save that, publish again. All right, so now let's go refresh. Up. There we go. So it routed me right to my content uh, screen based on my department. Um, so uh, Matt, you're in the executive department in this particular case. Of course, yeah. I'm very executive. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So on mine, uh, basically, if I go, you want me to edit one, Mike? Yeah. Just pick the top one in the list. Okay. I'm gonna edit it, and that takes me to this view, which is a little bit different. Yep, so that's just a simple example. Again, like I said, you can, if you need to get uh, actual permissions or security group membership from SharePoint, you can use a Power Automate flow. There's a lot of examples out on the internet uh, on how to do that. Maybe that'd be a good uh, topic for one of our next blog posts. Uh, but that's a good way to do that, to find out if the user is, for example, a member of the, you know, the owner's group. 
on a given SharePoint site. Yeah, a couple things I'd like to point out about this is that um, while you can do all of these things which are really great for the UI, remember that it doesn't actually implement security. So if I was in, for example, Mike's scenario, we currently have edit and grid view, I can click edit and grid view and yep. edit anything I want, right? As long as the field is editable, I'm gonna see that, those things uh, within the other standard uh, windows within SharePoint. And it's the same thing with lots of other scenarios and even even if so, let's say you turn off because you can turn off grid view view, you can turn off you can turn off um, inline editing, you can turn off a bunch of different things that would maybe give you access to that. Even of all those scenarios, if somebody wanted to use PowerShell as a regular user, they could then go in and do that. It's not security yep. in the same way. Um, it's not an absolute security measure. Yeah. So the real thing that trumps everything else and the and the thing you should be doing to secure your list or library content is applying permissions based on uh, security groups, either in Active Directory or in SharePoint, um, and relying on that as a, as a security mechanism. What we just showed you is more of a kind of a workflow convenience, make the user experience better, right? If somebody is in, a, in the marketing department, it makes sense for them to see certain content uh, first or focus on certain content. That makes a lot of sense to route them there first. Yep. Thanks so much for checking us out today. We really appreciate all of your views. If you are interested in more of our content, please like and subscribe below. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll see you next time.